Today on the channel, the best of the best lists continue as today on the channel we're counting down my top five best action figure lines of 2023. And the spirit of Ultimate Warrior will run forever! here and welcome back to the channel for another best of the best of 2023 countdown list as we finish off 2023 look to 2024 we're celebrating everything and anything action figure related from 2023 that we talked about reviewed discussed on the channel here but this year we're doing a special video a different video as today we're counting down my top five favorite toy lines of 2023. As I said, I didn't do this video last year, but I figured this year was such a good year for action figures and some really strong lines. I wanted to give my personal opinion on my top five favorite lines. And of course, this is my list. Put your list in the comments down below. Put them in order. That is the fun part, but that is also the hard challenging part. But a crazy year for action figures. Uh, a big, big year. I can't wait to see what 2024 brings uh, to us. And there's already starting off with a lot of stuff, as you can imagine. These companies, especially with sales being down, the dollar not going as far, they're going to be trying to do everything to get every dollar out of your wallet in 2024. But let's do it. Let's count down my top five favorites for 2023. We begin the countdown at number five, and for a lot of people, you could say this is the most frustrating, challenging line to collect in 2023, as people love this line universally for the most part, but very frustrated about distribution, very frustrated about how hard it is to collect this line, and it shouldn't be that hard to give these toy companies your money, but here we are, we always have these difficult lines like this every single year. This year, though, is a great line that I really do feel all of the sum is better than the individual. The line as a whole is great. Individual figures, they're good, they're great, all that kind of stuff, but it's the line as a whole that makes it what it is. And what are we talking about, number five? Well, we're going to the Walmart exclusive WWE Mattel Superstars line. Of course, a nostalgic line. It's got some LJN feel to it and the artwork and stuff like that a little bit. Of course, the nostalgic of the He-Man and the nostalgic of the classic characters from the old days of the WWF, WWE, whatever you want to call it. A fun, fun line. Like I said, challenge to collect, no doubt about it. But truly, out of all the different toy lines I collect, no one figure ever just totally blows me away. And a lot of that is because of all the reuse and stuff. But when you get them all together and you have them all in hand, there's just something magical and something special about this line. It's just a shame how challenging it is for uh, the fan base to collect it out there. As it should not be that hard to get your dollar out of your wallet to give to these toy companies or Walmart, of course. And it's just kind of the way it goes. There's always going to be these toy lines out there. But the WWE Superstars line for me is the number five action figure set of 2023. Here we are at the number four one. And number four, a very bittersweet line for me. A line that seems to maybe be ending or slowing down, I think, as best put. Uh, and it's definitely slowing down on the channel here as we unfortunately had a bitter, sad retirement in 2023. I guess bitter on my end. I'm just sad about it. Uh, but my dad did retire from uh, his YouTube videos, unfortunately. Just deep depression still over here. We're in a funk. Not a Terry funk, just a regular funk. But uh, number four line for me this year, 2023, my favorite favorite videos to unbox here on the channel were the ones with my dad. It was the NECA Universal Monsters. Just a great line. All the classics coming out this year in regular and black and white style. Of course, just some amazing, iconic characters in beautiful action figure form from NECA. The problem is, I think my dad said it in one of the, the last video, maybe it was the Jacob Marley, his retirement video, that, hey, they're great, but there's only so many Universal Monsters. There's not new Universal Monsters, and there's only so much you can do with them. So it does seemingly feel like this line is kind of getting to the end of its line no pun intended as we do got some hammer figures coming out next year some other figures around you know the uh, Nosferatu's of the world things like that but as far as universal monsters there's a few still to go but it really is kind of the end of the road I guess we'll say but boy what a road it was a beautiful road full of all kinds of iconic scenery and that's why NECA universal monsters come in at number four in my toy lines of the year We've reached the halfway point in our top five action figure lines of 2023. Do you got your list together? 
Put it in the comments down below, as I always do say. Make sure you put an order. That's the hard part. That is the fun part. But number three, everybody loves a comeback story. And if I had to do this list last year, there's no way this line would be on the tops of my list. It would probably be most disappointing of 2022. But what a turnaround in 2023. I can't believe how much this company turned things around. Better paint applications, tighter, better joints, better character selection, and then just putting that business hat on, trying to find a way to get new figure announcements or releases about every single day, uh, new ways, new tactics to go to market, plus iconic characters, really wrapped up to everything being just a home run year for this toy company. And I truly expect that momentum to carry into 2024 and maybe move up closer to the top of the list. Who are we talking about? Well, we got a special guest here today from the couch over there, one Todd McFarlane. And we're going to specifically say the DC multiverse line from Todd McFarlane and McFarlane Toys. Let's give Todd a hand from the couch. A featured player on the channel the last couple of months, uh, chiming in from the couch on some of these reviews, doing a lot of DC multiverse reviews on Kyle Peterson 2.0, so make sure you subscribe to that channel. But man, did he turn things around this year. As I was very adamant how down I was on a lot of the stuff, giving us uh, not quite the characters we really wanted. They still get some of that, but they've really turned the fence on a lot of things. But to give us variants and repaints and chases and different ways to go to market, different toy lines, I mean, just all over the place, Todd McFarlane got to be the hardest working man in the toy industry, uh, bar none. It seems like he's always working on something, and he's always over there. He's got multiple iPads going on. He's like this, and he's even got a pen and paper in his lap. He's working 24-7. He's given us so many twist ties and clips for his figures, it makes my head spin. And if you guys are following along on the channel, as of right now, for 2024, the unboxings, I'm going to collect every single clip strip from the McFarlane Toys figures and at the end of the year I'm going to do a Scrooge McDuck and I'm going to get a pool and I'm going to swim through all these and we're not like even like four reviews in and this is how many twist ties I've got out of McFarlane unboxings it's going to be a banner year for twist ties clips and all that stuff going to be a banner year for McFarlane Toys talk about a comeback story definitely warranted to be on this list and coming in extra hot at number three is Todd from the couch and McFarlane Toys we're down to the final two, and the number two favorite toy line for me of 2023, all-encompassing, goes to WWE Mattel Elite line. Gotta give props where props are due. Do they have some stub toes every once in a while? Yes, a lot of toy lines do. But if you guys take that business step back, is there a toy line that releases more figures than the WWE Elite line? Between all the exclusives uh, from all the different retailers, the ringside collectible exclusives, of course the traditional Elite line. There is so many figures in that Elite line released every single year, it makes my head spin as well. So I don't know if there's anybody out Outside of maybe McFarlane, I guess I should say, that releases more figures. And then, of course, the Elite line, you got all the sub-series lines, the Basics, the Showdowns, uh, the Ultimates, you name it. There's a lot of toy lines from Mattel. But the Elite line is their uh, home. That's their home base. That's the bread and butter is the Elite line. And the Elite line had another fantastic year this year. I think 2024 could be a really good year for the Elite line. It sounds like we're going to finally get some new Legends. Uh, legends really get the older collectors involved, but also you got to have the new stars, the new superstars, the Cody Rhodes of the world you got to get. And I think the Elite line does a good way of blending them all together. you got your Legends line, a few Legends mixed in the Elite line, different exclusives, just a lot of fun stuff from the Elite line. Of course, my favorite collection probably I'm doing since I'm 100% complete on that line, and that's going to continue into 2024, hopefully. hopefully Hopefully it will. But a lot of fun stuff, a lot of fun elites. Obviously, like I said, they do stub their toe from time to time, but when you're pumping out that many much product, you're going to have an issue once and again. But man, day in, day out, you can always count on a new elite series just around the corner. And that's why they're number two in my top five list, which leaves only one. What line is it? I think you guys can guess, but stay tuned. We've hit the number one spot, my number one toy line of 2023. And of course, you guys get your list together, put it in the comments down below. Put them in order. That's the hard part. That is the fun part. But here we are at number one. And like I said, I think most people can guess number one. A very nostalgic line for me going back to my childhood. A lot of classic characters that I've loved since then all the way to today. And to get them updated and looking great all these years later. From Haslabs to store exclusives to the regular line to the retro lines and all points in between... 
G.I. Joe Classified Series is my favorite toy line of 2023. Just every time something comes out, it's like, what's next? What's next? And I really do think into 2024, we're going to start getting more vehicles on a regular basis. Maybe a play set one of these days. We'll see what happens. And then a lot of hardcore fan favorites coming to the Joe line in 2024 as well. So a line that has a lot of eyes on it. And it truly does feel like the one that gets the most attention in this day and age from the Hasbro team. As Hasbro, of course, owns the Joe property where they don't necessarily own Star Wars or Marvel. So they got to have a little bit of extra say from other corporations. It feels like this is all in-house. It truly feels like you get way more bang for your buck on the Classified Series line than those other lines I just mentioned. Just all adds up to being a very fun, very very nostalgic toy line that is very exciting day in and day out. And that's why the G.I. Joe Classified Series line is my top line of 2023. So there it is, my top five toy lines of 2023. Put yours in the comments down below. And of course, you made it this far. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Turn on the old notification bell as we got videos every single day. And then some. We got even more content for you, of course, on Patreon, including early access to all the videos on the channel. And best of all, you do support the channel. You can all support the channel at ProWrestingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson. Don't forget the social media. Follow me up. Hit me up over there, of course. Sir Paul 64 on the X. The underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on threads and on Instagram. So for my top five toy lines of 2023, I'm Kyle. See you guys all real soon.